Hey guys and welcome back to another ArtBeast video tutorial. I'm Milad and in this video I'll show you different options when creating a page or post in Jupyter. I'll explain about Jupyter page options, styling options, widget options and post options. So here I have a page made with Visual Composer that just has a text box and an image element. If we edit this page and scroll down a bit, you'll see that here we have Jupyter page options. If you can't see it, it's probably hidden and you should enable it from screen options here. Let's also check Jupyter widget options and explore these. For Jupyter page options, in layout section, you can choose to display a sidebar for this page. When you chose to display a sidebar, this custom sidebar section will be appended to the bottom of Jupyter page options. Of course, you can change the content of a sidebar by going to Appearance, Widgets. Or if you want to define a new sidebar, you can go to Jupyter Theme Options, Sidebar section and add a new one from there. Okay, in Manage Page Elements section, you can choose to remove the header, the page title or the footer from this particular page. As an example, let's remove the page title, update the page and see what it looks in front end. Here we have the page title and if I refresh this page, you'll notice that it's removed. Okay, moving on to the next one. Switching on stick template removes the padding after header and before footer. So here I set it to enabled, and if we preview the page, you can see the gap is removed. In page preloader section, you can turn on the preloader for this page. The preloader settings are in theme options, global settings, preloader. The page title align allows you to set the alignment of the page title. You can also define a custom page title for the page. If you don't write anything here, the title of the page will be displayed as the page title. It's also possible to display a subtitle for this page. So let's define a custom title, a subtitle, change the alignment to center, and check how it looks. Of course here we need to bring back the page title in order to see it. Now let's preview the page and see the result. It's also possible to toggle off the breadcrumbs specifically for this page. If you want to do this for all the pages, you should do it in Theme Options Page Title section. And to display another navigation menu for this page, all you need to do is create a menu in Appearance Menus, assign it to one of the navigation slots, and then select it here. Moving on to Jupyter Styling Options. In this section, you can override some of the global settings that are defined in Jupyter Theme Options. So let's turn this option on and explore it. Here, it's possible to set another header style for this page. And of course, it's possible to change the alignment or toggle the header toolbar for it. In these four fields, you can define different logos for this page. For example, if you wanted to change the mobile logo only for this page, you need to upload your desired logo file here. It's also possible to make this page support a transparent header. If you're interested in how to make a transparent header, check out this article in our knowledge base. These other options about the transparent header are also explained in the knowledge base article. In sticky header offset, you can choose when you want the sticky header appear. As an example, choosing 30% of viewport means the user has to scroll about 30% of browser height to see the sticky header. You can turn on sticky header in theme options. In this section, you can choose the content of the page to be displayed in boxed mode or full width. And if you choose boxed mode, you can add a shadow to the box as well. In background color and texture section, you can apply colors or background images to different parts of the page. For example, let's edit this page title section and style it with a gradient background color. Let's also set the angle to diagonal. And now if I apply and preview the page, you can see the changes. The same technique can be done for header, page content, or the footer as well. There are also a few options about page title and breadcrumb styling here. And in Jupyter widget options, you can change the content of the footer on this page by selecting another widget area for each of the columns. Now let's create a post and explore its settings. Here we have similar options just like when we are editing a page. So let's just talk about Jupyter post options. I'm going to expand this. In single post style section, you can choose between traditional and compact and clear and bold styles. In post format, you can choose the type for this post. This affects the way posts appear when you're using blog shortcode in a page. For example, if we check out this page from Jupyter main demo, you can see that different post types are listed here. So here we have a post with image format, a post with audio format, video format, and so on. In classic loop style orientation, you can choose the way this post displays in classic style of the blog shortcode. So here I have a page which has blog shortcode classic style, and this is how portrait and landscape style looks. The other options in this section basically toggles the display of different parts of the post. So for example, if you wanted to disable the comments for this particular post, all you have to do is toggle off this option. And that's it for an overview of different settings when creating a page or post with Jupyter. Have a nice time and see you soon. Thank you. 